everyone this is Jane here from Crystal Sparkles um, just here to do your card for the day um, sorry just thought I might have a little visitor I've just put the water fountain on so of course Chinook needs to have a look to see what's going on just in case there's anything there that he might like to have I know this is the water I know it's not meant for drinking from you though not really okay you sit there and I'll I'll have a shuffle and see what we've got for our half of the day okay can I help today hmm want to help today you can help if you want to help no one can see you though there you are there you are bye bye then okay so we have a short visit and i'm going to lay down our card what he's interested in if you did see me yesterday um is i've got this little water feature that i've just bought and um so i kind of like to have that around when I'm I'm kind of doing a reading for the time being anyway we'll see how long the batteries last it's quite a nice comforting energy the, the water so here's our Faulkner tarot deck card for the day so unfortunately we're back to the two of pentacles this has come out quite a lot over the last few days um we had this energy around us at the weekend, that kind of sense of lack, it wasn't really enough going on. Um, and then I felt I stirred in the energy yesterday and the day before, and it does feel like it's dipped off again a little bit today. So um, what I did today was I burnt some sage um, to kind of clear the energy around. Um, you can either do it with like actual, with sort of... Um, a, a coal kind of piece of of sage you get them in like um it's too hard to explain i haven't got one here to show you but i will get one and i've got one here somewhere i'll get one and i'll show you another day um but you get like a sort of bunch of dried sage and you can kind of what what they call it is smudging where you kind of take the energy of the smoke and kind of basically for want of a better word and, and wiccans and, and pagans and stuff probably shoot me for saying this basically waft it around so you kind of put it into all the corners and you use the smoke the smoke is what the energy that um kind of clears the the energy around us um that's quite a laborious process wandering around your house trying to sort of get into all the areas and also it's a little bit dangerous because the um the sage burns and it can drop embers so you have to kind of go around with a big plate underneath it so you don't drop embers on and burn your house down um which we wouldn't want so what i do is i use these um these are just basically sage incense stick um I get them from eBay. You can get them all over the place. They're very cheap. I think these were something like one ninety nine. So I have other incense um, sticks as well, but I I like these to kind of cleanse the energy because um, I felt it dip off a little bit today as well, and um, it, it's kind of very. I feel kind of a little bit quiet everywhere. So. Um, it's been a massive, massive kind of windy storm overnight um, where I am near London. Um, and I know a lot of people have got some really bad weather. So it could just be that the energy is quite low because of all of that. Um, and it really, really was very, very windy last night. Very, very blowy. So, you know, we might all be feeling a little bit again. So all I would say to you is with the Two of Pentacles, as I said to you before, don't focus too much on the lack that's why i did my cleansing that's why i did my burnt my sage today um because i kind of felt the need to get rid of that energy and replace it with something else so i've cleansed things out um i've already also written my new moon wishes and this is still plenty of time to be doing that 
Um, so I think within 48 hours is the best time you can write them whenever you like, to be honest. Um, but if you want the energy of the new moon attached to them, um, best to kind of get those written or how you do it is up to you. You can write a letter to the universe or just write down your wishes. I've got um, a moon diary, which I'll quickly show you because it is handy here. So I have this. I have this moon diary, um, which it's an astrological one. Um, it's published by Astro Cow, I think. Um, yeah, so I have one of those. That every new moon and full moon has a little space for you to write down your wishes and things that you want to cleanse out. So, so I'll I'll go through that book. And I'll do a little video on that book and and I'll show you it. This is quite a useful little thing that I use. So that's what I've, I'm, that's my energy. That's what I'm focusing on today. So two of pentacles to me, that is kind of where I was and where it felt like we all were. But I kind of feel like we're moving out of that energy now. So let's have a look and just see what we've got. I think sometimes when we're coming in through January, we do have sort of up and downs. We have that kind of sense of, of everything being a bit flat. Then we get a few days where we get an energy surge and then we go back to being a bit flat. So it does go a little bit up and down. It's a little bit like, um, you know, the swings. You, you kind of have to go backwards to go forwards, really. So it's January, I think, is a bit of a month that's that's quite like that. Um, so maybe we just put down an energy oracle card. No, sorry, a messenger oracle card to go with this. Okay, so... This is the Let the Emotions Flow card. So this talks about allowing yourself to feel the feelings, really. Um, as you can see, there is a lot of stuff going on in this card. Um, and I probably could sit and talk about it for a very, very long time. What I'm really drawn to is a little bit spooky, um, is the waterfall. And it's really interesting because I've been working with my um, little water feature, as you can see. And the energy of that is kind of in that card too. So water is, is always linked to emotion. You know, the cups cards are the water signs and they are, oh look, someone else wants a little look. Um, so they, they're they all linked together as well. So you've got your cups cards, which are to do with water signs, water to do with emotion. Those watery star signs have those very deep emotions that they that they bury quite deep sometimes. So this is saying, let the emotion flow. Um, it's about just allowing yourself to let your energy flow. When we block our emotions, we block our energy. So even if we do need to sit and have a good cry or watch a, watch a film that prompts us to be emotional, sometimes we need that, you know. Sometimes we actually need to... to get that energy out and some of us have specific things that do that for us um i um one film that always always does it for me i only have to hear the music and um i can cry for ages and it, if i just really need a good cry that's what i watch um and that's the film champions which is about the racehorse um Aldenity and the jockey bob champion and that's very specific to me i know that's not the sort of thing that's going to make everybody cry or let everybody's emotions flow that's what does it for me you have your own um we all have our own things that we kind of relate to in, in terms of letting the emotion go if you need to put on a weepy film to do it great if you need to read a weepy book read a poem just let yourself you know be in an energy of letting those emotions go all good so let me just put down, as I said, I would put down a parent animal. Um, still feeling really drawn to these animal cards. I've, I will do that totem um, animal deck as well this week. I'll get that out. So let's have a look and see what power animal we've got. Oh, wow. That's really interesting. I was doing... Um, Another piece of work that I do where I, I just write little snippets of, of, of information about a card or little baby readings and stuff. So um, I was doing that yes, 
uh, earlier on today actually and that is exactly the same card as I got then the salmon and I've shuffled them all up so we're obviously needing to be in the salmon's energy now salmon is talks about determination you see we've all seen the footage of the salmon leaping up the river they never give up do they they just keep going until they get to the bit of the river that they want to be and if they have to swim against the tide they will if they have to jump out of the water they will they just keep going till they get to where they want to go and it's really interesting again that we're looking at salmon we're looking at a fish so we're back to water we're back to emotion it's really obviously very important at the moment in this energy to have that kind of watery energy being in touch with our emotions being in touch with our feelings so salmon says don't give up you are going to get there um the um oracle card was let the emotions flow and the faulkner tarot card for the day was the two of pentacles so all in all i think we're looking at um healing our emotions really and i don't mean sort of medical healing i just mean spiritual healing if we can heal feel our feelings feel those emotions we can heal them and then we can get rid of this sense of lack that is floating around with this two of pentacles so i will leave that with you for the day and i'll be back again tomorrow to do another card for us you have a wonderful day and i'll speak to you tomorrow Bye for now.